Oh, it feels so good to be back. Now, with all this talk of last night's fight between Jay Leon Love and Emporque Medina, a certain topic in boxing has been ignored and has not been getting the coverage that it's supposed to. And that is, Saul Canelo Alvarez is scheduled to return at the end of this year, in December, according to BoxRec, December 13th. And the, and the front runner now, as an opponent for Alvarez on that date, is no longer James Mandingo or Kirkland. But the front runner is former champion Joshua, the Grandmaster Claudie, or Joshua Big Hitter Claudie, what the fuck? Or whatever top rank changed his name to before he fought Manny Pacquiao back in back on March 13th of 2010. Since then, since two, since two, since then, since 2010, Claudio's only fought three times. The last time he fought was this year, April 9th, against Anthony Mundane. Claudio captured the WBA International Light Middleweight title in a 12-round unanimous decision. Now, of course, the 24-year-old Saul Alvarez will be criticized if he takes this fight. But that's just the way it is. He's been criticized for his last four fights. See, he was supposed to lose the Austin Challenge in 2013. He got smoked by Floyd Mayweather. After that fight, he was supposed to lose to Alfred Angulo. And after that fight, he was supposed to be schooled by Aristan Lara. And he won three of those four fights convincingly, at least in my opinion. And now is there something more to this? Is there something more to this Joshua Clotty versus Saul Alvarez fight? I think there is because according to Eric Gomez, who is a former matchmaker for Golden Boy Promotions and has now moved up to vice president, this will be Saul Alvarez's last fight on Showtime, giving him the option to move forward and to go to HBO and possibly face fighters in the top ranked stable at either light middleweight or middleweight. These names include WBO light middleweight champion Demetrius Bubu Andrade who's undefeated in his professional career. But the two most intriguing fights that Saul Alvarez can have at H are one against Triple G Gennady Golovkin and the most lucrative fight that I believe can be made in boxing right now, a showdown between Saul Alvarez and WBC middleweight champion Miguel Cotto. You see, if the Joshua Claudio versus Saul Alvarez fight does happen, I'll call it as it is, it'll be a sparring session. It'll be a bona fide sparring session in front of Saul Alvarez's fans that will help him get out of his obligations with Showtime, his obligations with Steven Espinoza, and go back to HBO and make huge money.